One school to teach them all. One school to teach them, uh, English? Wallington County Grammar School, WCGS. Wallington County Grammar School has been home to many a bright student over the years. We're not quite sure how, but yeah, it has been. Oh, there's been some memorable moments at WCGS. The most recent of which being the school puking. <laughs> that was funny. I think we all remember that one. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh yes, and I remember the time that nothing happened. Well, that was quite boring, but one of the most memorable crises is... Cri... crisis... Cri... crisis... Cri... crisis... crisis... is that... is that even a word? Cri... crises at the school was the biscuit crisis of 92. Unfortunately, the most of our records of that event have been destroyed, so we've gone to Mr. Moran for some first-hand accountage. So, Mr. Moran, do you remember the biscuit crisis? Yeah, it was crazy! What happened? No f biscuits. And how does that make you feel? Pissed. Don't get me started on the near f***ing biscuit crisis! Hey, really? What happened then? There was nearly no f***ing biscuits! Hmm... <laughs> oh, Mr. Moran, what a funny guy. Anyway, that brings us to our next topic. A really funny guy... Mr. Scales. Dum dum dum! Can we cut that bit out? I just wasn't really feeling it there. A anyway, over, over to the field! Do you remember Mr. Scales? C. Do you remember Mr. Scales? Yes. C. Do you remember Mr. Scales? Yes. C. How about you? Yeah. C. Do you remember My Mr. Idea. Scales? No. Do you remember Mr. Scales? Yeah. C. Right, class, today we're doing punctuation. Now, I'm sure you all know about the full stop, but do you all know about the comma? Oh, yes. Right, Joe and Faceto stride off. Had enough of that. And what do you find so funny, Mr. Turner? Nothing. Hmm? hmm? Nothing, eh? Give me your shoes. <laughs> Come on, hand them over. Hand over. And the other one. I only have one shoe. Sorry. And the I only have one shoe. And the other one. I only have one shoe. I only have one shoe. Two straight off. Only... And the other one. <laughs> and the other one. See me off. Here. <laughs> there are many houses in the school. Bridges, Mandeville, Ruskin, Woodcote, Carew, Radcliffe. And Gryffindor! Oh, no, wait, uh, Gryffindor's Harry Potter. Uh, I get confused sometimes. Uh, we, we believe that the houses give a good uh, social feel and good environment to the school, but uh, don't take our word for it. Here's some exclusive video footage just for you. Do you think the house system makes our school better? Yes, definitely. Um, what ways? I think it brings about a sense of belonging, a uh, healthy sense of competition, I think it provides um, an additional outlet for skills and talent besides academic potential, which I think you need to. Uh, focusing on academia can be very stressful, there's lots of homework, lots of work, and I think you know the house competitions provide an opportunity to kick back and to do something else. Um, and it gives individuals their own opportunity to, to shine at, you know, um, say sports or um, activities that they're strong at, so yes. Do you think like the house system at this school is better than the one at your last school? Well, my last school um, that had a house system was the school I was at. Um, I'm not sure that it is, no, to be honest. Um, I don't think that there's enough... What do you think it does? I think it uh, bonds, what helps bond uh, pupils together. Helps uh, team spirit, cooperation. 
Would you say it was a covalent, ionic, or metallic bond? Oh, oh. oh. covalent. Oh. A lot of sharing going on. Yeah. Boing. Well, that just about sums up all the false facts we could come up with in our small, unimaginative minds. I've been Henry Miller. Joe Stang's been away. Daniel's been smiley. And Joe's been playing guitar. <laughs> Right there. Cut.